Hello everyone. In the last two videos, I shared about um, all the different things you should be aware of while making the decision to go solar. Uh, I shared all the different uh, the estimates I got from nine different companies. Uh, and finally, in the last video, I talked about which company I finally went with and uh, all the different steps that are involved uh, right from the day one when you sign the agreement with a company uh, for the installation and till the last day when you start operating your system. Until now actually you got a pretty much good idea of what it takes to install the system. So in this video I'm going to share about uh, for my system size uh, how much the system actually produces and what it means in terms of the actual electricity bill that I get every month. So just to remind you, my system size is uh, 2.978 kilowatt hour. Uh, that is nine panels from Panasonic, um, 330 watts each, and each one of them is having a N-phase microinverter. Uh, and the monitoring system uh, I use is Enlighten. You can use either web or or the app. So let's look into it. So. You can see the energy production um, by day, week, month, year, or lifetime, or a custom date range. So here I have picked month to show you uh, for the month of May how much my system has produced. So if you look at the number on the left, that is 597.27 units. That is the entire production of the May month, 2020. Then the second number is 494.55 units, that is for the previous month, that is April 2020. And then the last number is the same month last year, how much was the production. So because this is a new system I recently installed, I didn't have the system last year, so the amount is zero. And on the right side, uh, it shows uh, approximately based on my rates, uh, what it means in terms of amount, in terms of money, how much it has produced. So it, it does some calculation based on a fixed rate uh, that you can uh, so customize in the system. So based on that, it says for 597.27 units, the equivalent money is $143.34. Then uh, just to give you an estimate like uh, what it means to produce 597.27 units. So it is just giving a random example that uh, it is equivalent to eight months of uh, usage of a 100 watt bulb. All right, so let's take a look at the numbers every day for the month of May. So if you see here, there are a few dips around uh, 11th, 12th until 14th of May. Um, those may be due to some uh, clouds or rain. And the same with uh, around end of the month, that there was one day where there is dip. So if you see the average, uh, it is 597.27 units for the entire month of May. So it comes out around 19.2 units per day. So moving ahead, uh, let's take a look at um, how much each panel produce for the entire month of May. So this is an array view. Uh, so this is how my panels are aligned. So if you see each panel is producing uh, within the range of like 65 units to 67 units. I think that's pretty good because uh, that says like all the panels are producing almost the same amount. So none of the panel has any issue. So that was Enlighten. Uh, let's take a look at my actual utility bill and uh, have a sense of like what it means to produce 597.27 units in a month in terms of the actual bill. So this is a net metering charges. So we will just take the example of the month of May. If you see uh, in the summary of NEM charges, I think the last date is May. So that is uh, May 28th, that was the billing period. So my billing period was from 29th of April till 28th of May. If you see, so I'm on a time of use plan. What that means is, uh, so every day from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., I have a higher rate, and 9 p.m., 
until next day, the 4 p.m., I have a lower rate. As per my utility company, which is PGNE, so and every new plan has to be a time of use plan. So there is no more standard plans available with the company. So I have two different rates. One is the peak rate and one is the off peak rate. If you see, there are two columns. One is net peak usage and the net off peak usage. So for May month, my net peak usage was 76 units in negative. That means I produced more than I used. And that is 76 units during the peak usage. During the off peak usage, it is negative 72. That means uh, again, I produced more than I used. That is 72 units. So which comes out to be 147 units surplus in the month of May that I produced. So total savings uh, due to this overproduction is $13.20. Then coming down, there is uh, electric charges. So that is a minimum payment that you make every month, regardless of the usage. And that will be created towards the actual true bill that you will get uh, at the end of the year. So if you see for the month of May, it is $9.86. Then the next section is how your true up is calculated. So it is showing actually how much uh, my balance is due that I have to pay at the end of the year as per uh, the bill I have accumulated until now. So total NEM charges before taxes is $68.65 from the above table. Total electric minimum delivery charges that is on the table on the left that will be a credit towards your actual charges that is 41.41 dollar .41. then uh, there are some taxes a small amount at 0.30 dollars so the net comes out to be 27.54 so until now i owe 27.54 dollars to my utility company so when you are on a solar plan so you don't pay your electric bills every month. You just pay the minimum charges, that is the $9.86. And depending on the number of days in the billing period, it will hover around uh, $9 to $11. So that is the only amount that you pay for electricity. And at the end of the year, that is uh, December of 2020, uh, my utility company is going to uh, give me an actual true up bill and that will be uh, for the entire year. And at the end of the year, if I owe anything to the my utility company, I have to pay that amount. And um, if I produced more, then the utility company will give me an option uh, either to take it as a credit towards the next year charges or I can ask for a deposit into my account. For the month of May, we saw that uh, I produced 147 units in total, including off-peak and the peak usage. Uh, more than I actually consumed. So let's like a, take a look actually how uh, this overproduction of 147 units turned into $13.11. So in this page, uh, I'm showing you on the right side, if you see the consumption amount is 245 units and my net generation was 392 units, which makes a uh, negative net usage of 147 units. So that gives us the 147 unit that we saw in the previous page. And there's a breakdown on the left. If you see, uh, there are two sections. One is uh, 29th of April till 30th of April and uh, May 1st till May 28th. That is the billing period. So in the first one, in the first section on the top, so that is April, the month of April, there are two days of April that is included in the May billing period. So the baseline allowance was 21 units. So baseline unit is, uh, you get some discounts, like if you see the baseline credit, three lines below, that is uh, $0.08517. That's negative. So you make that credit uh, if you are below the baseline allowance. So let's look at the usage uh, above the baseline credit. So that is peak usage was uh, 3.213 units at the rate of uh, 30.567 cents. And the off-peak usage was 
uh, 11.02 units uh, which was at uh, 0 0.28836 dollars rate so which comes out with some additional fees and all the stuff and there are some additional fees and uh, some small amounts like $1.53, uh, 22 cents, 39 cents and 1 cents. Then the next one is uh, for the 28 days in the month of May. The baseline allowance was uh, 294 units and I used less. Uh, that is 132 units I used and the peak price if you see it is slightly higher than the month of April. That is 31 uh, cents, around 31 cents. And the off peak rate is 29 cents, uh, which is like one cent lower in each of the uh, usage tier. So I used uh, 70 units in the peak time and uh, 60 units in the off peak time. And that comes out to be $22.87 during the peak time and $18.11 during the off peak time. So these are all over productions. That means uh, the credits towards my actual bill that I'll get at the end of the year. So if you add up all those um, usage amounts and all those fees, that comes out uh, to be $13.20. So this is how uh, we got the net usage of 147 units uh, over production and a $13.20 so credit towards my electrical charges. So basically, I just pay $9.86, that's the minimum charge from my utility company. And I got a credit of $13.20. So at the end of the year, all those amounts will be netted. And uh, if I owe something, I'll pay the utility company. If I overproduce, then the utility company is going to pay me. I hope you liked the video uh, and it was useful information to you. So if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.